What's up guys, it's PME Volleyball and this is a behind the scenes look at Team USA as they compete in the VNLs in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Let's go take a look around. The 2024 Volleyball Nations League is a seven week long event featuring the 16 best men's and women's volleyball teams from around the world in hopes of hoisting a trophy. For week one, half of the women's teams were competing in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. These eight teams were competing in the Maracanãzinho Gym that was opened all the way in 1954. It has a total carrying capacity of 11,000 spectators, and it was the host site for the 2016 Rio Olympics. Before the match started, I had the opportunity to explore the many seats that you could be a spectator in the gym. I took full advantage of this, taking in the beauty of this beautiful structure. This Team USA roster was looking absolutely stacked this year, with memorable names such as Zoe Fleck, Madison Skinner, Jordan Larson, Lauren Carlini, Brion Butler, and Juan Juan. Orantes. And for all of you NCAA college volleyball fans out there, you might have recognized four members of Team USA either being current or previous Texas Longhorns. Horns up! I had an opportunity throughout the entire Team USA photo shoot to sit in and watch the action. After all, who doesn't like a good media day? Here were some of my other favorite moments from that photo shoot session. <laughs> This year's roster featured some new faces as well as some seasoned veterans who have battled long and hard for Team USA and brought home multiple Olympic medals. As the players were entering the gym, I had the opportunity to watch them all warm up up close. Today's match featured Team USA against Thailand. And after the warm-ups were complete, I got to witness this super cool moment where the lights went off in the entire gym, and the only thing that was giving the arena light were these massive beams coming from the ceiling. If you ask me, that's quite an epic way to do an introduction. After both national anthems were sung, the match was about to begin. I got to watch this match about 15 feet behind the service line. So please sit back and relax as I share with you some of my favorite moments moments from the match.
After the match had concluded, I got a chance to be in the fan zone, which is a portion of the player tunnel where fans can come in and meet and take pictures with some of their favorite players. I think this is an awesome touch by the VNLs. It makes the experience of a fan that much more memorable as they get a chance to meet some of their favorite athletes. Team USA ended up winning this match in four and I can't wait to see them compete throughout the rest of the week. And there you have it folks, that's a close up look at the VNLs. Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can catch up on all the VNL events that are going to be happening over the next two months and comment down below which nation you're rooting to take it all this year. Me personally, I'm going to be Team USA. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys later.